Bullying is unfortunately a really common thing in today's world and in fact 46% of children have admitted to being bullied at some stage in their lives. It's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about and the most important thing to remember is that you're not alone in it and with the right steps it can be resolved. First of all, it's important to tell someone, whether that be a teacher, a parent or just a friend. But the worst thing to do is to keep it inside of you, because it probably won't go away by itself. You should understand and pray for the bully. It's likely that they're actually going through a lot more than you know yourself. And that's why we should pray for them. Because let's, let's compare Saul to a bully of today. Saul went through years persecuting and bullying Christians. But Jesus and God works in mysterious ways. God came into his life and changed his life around and now he's one of the most renowned Christians to ever live. Wouldn't it be incredible if that happened to your bully right now? Try not to get angry. It's natural to get upset by a bully, but that's what they thrive on and that's what makes them feel powerful. Try not to look upset and just ignore them and try and walk away. You may be expecting Mike and I to provide one specific verse from the Bible that's just going to solve all your problems. This isn't the case. If you are going through a rough time such as this, the most important thing to remember is that you're not alone. But as Christians, we believe that we have something that's much greater than all these tormentors and that we can bring all our problems to Jesus and they can be dealt with. If we bring all our troubles to Jesus, we, can, we honestly have nothing to worry about. We need to remember that God is a loving Father, and although He never promised to give us an easy life, He did promise that He would never give us anything that we couldn't handle. Maybe a joke has gone too far, and you're starting to actually hurt someone. It's important to tell this person if they've actually hurt your feelings, because if you don't, then they won't know where to stop, and they won't know where to draw the line. Maybe just take a second to think, before you send that Facebook message or that tweet that may just be a bit, little bit hurtful. Would you say that to their face in real life? If not, then why would you say it over the internet? Are you trying to hide behind something? Maybe you feel a bit more powerful when you're behind a screen and there's no one actually there to get upset or angry in front of you. Just pause and think, could this be hurtful? best to talk to the person who's being bullied and see how they want to proceed with things and who they want to tell. Encourage them to tell an adult. Most importantly, be there for the person and try to comfort them. Let them know that you're there for them and that you'll try to help them get them through this tough time. We all know the line between bullying and banter is very small and if you know of a situation of bullying, just stop and think, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus just completely ignore the situation and walk on by? I'm sure you all know the story of the Good Samaritan who saw an enemy of his beaten up on the side of the road and he didn't just walk on by, he stopped, he picked him up, helped him to his house and bandaged him. This compassion is almost unheard of in our society. I urge you all to show a little bit of Jesus in your lives to someone being bullied. What if you did something as simple as just send them a Facebook message saying that you care for them? or invited them to sit with you at lunch, or even just smile at them. I'm sure that would almost make their day. James chapter one, verse two to four says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Sometimes we find that when we face the toughest trials, we turn to God more. This means that we can grow in our relationship with God, as well as building our own character. Remember something, we are all created in God's image. You are created exactly the way he wanted you to be. So don't let anybody who doesn't even know you try to bully you. Because you know what, you're special to God. And there's people all around you who actually care for you. And if you were able to turn to one person to deal with this bullying, make that be God. <laughs>